I am Anil Kumar and with the help of this video we will learn few skills to rearrange formula and find the values. We have considered a cylinder and its volume. The question here is volume of a cylinder with diameter of 10 cm is 1000 cm cube. Determine its height round to one decimal place. So let's consider a cylinder. Let me sketch one. It helps to uh, define variables with the help of a diagram. So here we have a cylinder and let us say that the diameter is given to us here. So that's the diameter for us which is 10 centimeters. So I'm writing 10 centimeters as diameter D equals to 10 centimeters. Volume is 1000 centimeter cube and we need to find height. So this is something which is not known to us. So we need to find height right so that is the question before us now as you know what is the formula for volume formula for volume is volume is pi r square h so that's the volume of a cylinder correct now in this question we are given diameter so how can you write diameter and radius well as you know radius is half of diameter correct is half of diameter so diameter is this length radius is that center to the end of a circle right that is the radius so now let us see how to solve such a question one method is we can rearrange the formula and solve so rearrange really means we need to find r so we'll isolate r right so that is what it means so so let us see how to rearrange a formula or isolate in this case isolate r is that okay so we are given here volume is pi r square h we know volume is pi r square h so we can divide both sides by pi and h first so pi and h so if you do that then pi and h cancels you're left with r square right so so we get volume divided by pi and h equals to r square we need to find what r is so we can square root so r will be square root of volume divided by pi h is that okay so that is how you can find radius but in fact we wanted to find height so let's redo this so that is a formula to find uh, radius so let me I did a mistake here so we'll redo this and this time isolate height right so volume is pi r square h so to isolate h what should we do divide by pi r square right so divide by pi r square so we get height as equals to volume divided by pi r square anyway you understand how we can do we can find height or radius from this formula. So let me write down height as volume divided by pi r square. So that becomes the formula which we can apply to find the height in this given question, right? So that's one way. The other way of course is that you can straight away substitute values and then calculate height. Okay. Let us use this formula and then find the height. Before that we need to find radius now what is radius equals to okay we are given diameter as 10 so we say diameter is 10 radius is half of diameter right half of diameter so it is half of 10 half of 10 is 5 so we know radius is 5 for us now since radius is 5 what should be the height so we can say now that height is equals to volume which is 1000 divided by pi which is 3.14 right times radius square which is 5 square so that gives us the height let's use calculator so we have 1000 divided by both these numbers so put them in brackets brackets 3.14 times 5 square and bracket close equals to convert this to decimals it says 12 point let me write here 12.73 
round to one decimal place that means 12.7 and the units are centimeter for us centimeter so that is how you can find height by rearranging the formula and then calculating well for some of you rearranging may be a difficult task so you can straight away apply the formula and solve so volume you know is pi r square h in our case volume is 1000 so we'll write 1000 here equals to pi is 3.14 radius is 5 so we'll write this as 5 square times h now what is h let's calculate this value is 1000 equals to we'll do 3.14 times 5 square which is equals to 78.5 times h now h will be will divide by 78.5 so we have 1000 divided by 78.5 equals to h so we'll divide 1000 by 78.5 that gives us in decimals 12.738 exactly same thing approximately 12.7 since we need to round it to one decimal place so you could do without rearranging also straightforward takes lesser time don't forget the units it should be centimeters correct anyway so we get our answer let's write down the answer which is height is equals to 12.7 centimeters perfect so i hope with this you understand how we can rearrange the values or even the formula to calculate the unknown from a given condition thank you and all the best